Imad's family comes from Tunisia. He was born in Germany, has a German passport and works as a machine operator. Muri, in some articles her name is Sana, perhaps a nickname, comes from Tunisia to Germany around 2013 with a student visa, gets a German passport and dual nationality through marriage. She is an imported bride helped by her parents. They will have a son and a daughter. At the time of the crime, she is pregnant again. The family first lives in Andernich, later in Mendig, Rhineland Palatinate. Muri teaches Arabic at the college. The marriage is violent, Muri flees with both children to a women's shelter in Limburg. He is forbidden to approach her. On October 25, 2019, the man tracks down his wife in Limburg and overruns her at high speed. Muri Sana is thrown 22 meters into the air. Then his borrowed Audi crashes against a wall of a house. A witness wants to help Muri. The perpetrator then pulls a gun. Imid takes an axe and a butcher knife from the trunk and cuts off the head of his ex-wife with five strokes. Then he collapses and is arrested. Because of the impact injuries he is taken to the hospital. The police finds the gun, the axe and the knife. The children were in kindergarten at the time of the crime, they are picked up by employees of the youth care. One more word about the nationality of the perpetrator, many media emphasize that the perpetrator is German. Let's take a look at the history, even before the crime, family members of the perpetrator appeared at the women's shelter to shadow and threaten Muri. Therefore, a move to another protection facility was imminent. There are no German families who would support such a murder. For an honorary murder, on the other hand, the cooperation of the perpetrator's family is customary. On the question how the perpetrator even knew of the address in Limburg, there are two theories. One theory is that the sister of the perpetrator had a contact at the registration office of the residence. The other theory is that the perpetrator hired a private detective. In May 2020 the trial will start before the district court of Limburg. The psychiatric expert declares that the perpetrator is fully capable of guilt. In July, the perpetrator is sentenced to life imprisonment. The special seriousness of the guilt is determined. Of course, the defense announces an appeal. Thank you for watching this video and helping us to build a large database of stories about honor killings. Please subscribe to our channel Honor Killing.